Hello, folks, and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and the Let's Play Shovel Knight. Let's go ahead and get started. I played a little bit at the beginning just to make sure the controls are working and everything. We'll start here. We'll go with, uh... Let's just go with Vertigo. That's easy, right? I don't know how much it really matters what the name of the character is, but I guess it's just a throwback. Like everything else will most likely be in this game. Done. Yes. Yes, I'm abso are you absolutely sure? Yes, I feel pretty confident that this is the game I want to play right now. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fates, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. Yeah, don't try to get into the tower or anything. It's like, ah, well, the doors are closed. She's gone. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile, vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Order of No Quarter, nice. Well done. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. They even had time to build this giant castle and you're all just shoveling random dirt. Dig in. Jesus. It really does have all the trappings of just some, like, crappy game from the 80s that was trying to capitalize on Mario and all that other stuff. So, I actually don't know a whole lot about this game. I haven't watched a lot of it. I've heard nothing but praise on it, though. The controls uh, are not explained in any way. Oh, I did find you can bounce those guys. I did not do a good job of it right then. Yeah, the controls are not really explained, though so far I've just kind of figured it out. You got your main attack. You got two buttons to do an attack, which looks like it's the same. You got a jump button. Pressing down while you jump does the shovel plunge. I'm gonna call it the shovel plunge. Because I like that name. You can bounce these guys. I don't know if there's any point. Ah. Oh. You can bounce your hard-earned gems right into the, the uh, endless pit. That's good. Let's break all these. Game is stingy. Doesn't give me anything. Unlike DuckTales, you cannot bounce on your shovel. Which, you know, makes sense. Not really easy to bounce on a tool that ends with a sharp point. Yeah, so far I haven't been able to bounce those enough to get a, any kind of reward. But yeah, this obviously is a big, uh, you know, retro style game. These bubbles do hurt you, oddly enough. Come on. I haven't decided. I am, you know, I am using the Xbox 360 controller as well. Now my understanding is this thing here is like you can break it and get gems uh, normally it's a waypoint i think once you hit it though i think you can't break it so if you're gonna break it do it before you run into it i was actually meaning to do that there but i probably will end up just using them most of the time because it's not very fun to watch me die over and over again but oh nice i also found out the hard way that uh, you cannot bounce on spikes with your shovel, unlike your cane and ducktails. I'll probably compare this game to ducktails because what, from what little I have seen, oh god, it's a. Uh... Oh, I see. Oh, come on. Oh, Ooh, he's going a little faster there. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I just bounce on his back. It makes it uh, a little bit easier. But, uh, yeah, I have seen a little bit of the game. I saw, um... Oh, shit, this looks bad. Nice. Oh, nice. It's a little, uh... Ooh, alright. You can bait out an attack, it looks like. Not enough, my friend. Well fought. But, yeah, I knew about the orbs from watching a Northern Lion do, like, a let's look at, or let's... Or, uh, he does, uh... No, he does let's look at something. Anyway. But yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's going to be hidden areas and all that, so I'm going to look for them. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to find them, but, you know, 
gotta get the secret. Well, we gotta try to get the secrets. Ah! I didn't really know how that wall looked different to show that you could hit it, but... Oh! Foolish me just running ahead. Alright, let's destroy those slimes. I'm using the analog stick on the Xbox One controller. I'm not sure. Hmm. Spikes are instant death, which kind of sucks. Ah, it takes two hits. Okay. I'm gonna ha hope this is a hidden. Oh, there's a scroll. <laughs> Apparently, there's all the humps on the wall you can make into little gravel balls. What is this? Okay. It went da -da -da -da. Let me know how the audio sounds. I always like to do about an hour of gameplay when I first start up a new Let's Play, just so I can make sure I don't record like four hours and then find out there was serious audio problems. But I did do a test run beforehand. Everything seemed fine. Just let me know in the comments what you think. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know what these gems are for. I don't really care. I'm going to get them anyway. I do love, if you've watched my DuckTales Let's Plays, which you totally should. Oh yeah. Then, uh, you know, or, God, my Lego, my Lego game LPs, Jesus. Those sounds that the, the coins make? Oh, I don't like that. Ooh. Random turkey? Oh, wow, I jumped further than I thought. I've kind of learned what those little humps in the wall look like that you can blow. Oh, shit. I lose that gem. That's all right. I'm sure there will be many more in our adventures to come. Let's grab them all. Oh, this is only worth one. All right, so if we do this right... Ah, yes. Perfect. Now, I'm actually a little bit hesitant about this game. Like, a little, little bit... No, I don't worth the hesitant. Um... Unsure, let's see. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't even see that. Oh, well, it's probably best I grab those anyway. Because I, I'm generally not a big fan of side-scrolling shooters. I mean, I did grow up in the NES era because I am very old. So I grew up on them. Nowadays, I don't really like them that much. I don't dislike them. Like, I love Super Meat Boy. But uh, we're definitely going to give it a, a fair shot. And it's also, if you've watched... Oh, damn. Uh, you're also aware, if you watched my other Let's Plays, or my channel for long, that I don't really care for this whole trend of retro graphics on every single damn game. Oh, jeez. This should be fun. Alright. There we go. Got another music scroll, whatever that does. I'm trying to get used to the jumping, but yeah, I don't usually like side scrollers a whole lot. I, again, I did love Super Meat Boy, or most of Super Meat Boy. I haven't technically finished it, though. And by technically finish it, I mean I haven't finished it. Whoa, man. I'm gonna stop falling for that. Actually, I probably will not stop falling for that. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, holding out hope for this game. Hmm. Now, why is that there? I wonder if there's, like, maybe something hidden. Oop, nope. No? Oh, no? Whatever. I'll kill it just to get whatever items it dropped, but let's break this. Huh. Maybe next time I'll try to go from the top. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aha! That didn't even have the, the marking on it. Very well done. I like the way this game is teaching you so far. It doesn't really show you things, but it shows you in a smart way. Oh, nice. Awesome. But it shows you in a, in a more intuitive way without saying, press X to attack. If you see this wall, you should try attacking it. Things like that. Like, it became obvious because I walked out over here and I was like, oh, there's got to be a way to go down there. So I looked around, I was like, oh, well, let me try hitting this and it worked. So that's cool, that's a, like, I'm very much against not teaching how to actually play the game. I hate when developers don't do that, I always feel it's really lazy. Not having tutorials and things like that, oh damn. 
But uh, if you're, as long as you're teaching the game, and then I'm totally cool with that. And like I said, this is a way to do it while letting you kind of play without being constantly interrupted by tutorial prompts and things of that nature. So uh, yeah, it's it's good. And you know things like this, like oh, obviously you had to be able to attack down. You have to kind of figure that out. Oh Jesus. We gotta be careful here. No, my money! Oh God! Didn't think about that part. Shit. Oh well, that's all right. Hello, skeleton man. I knew he'd back up before I got over there. It was still still pretty scary though. That is my number one problem with platformers. I always uh, like overcompensate on especially small little things like that. So. Like games uh, like Dark Souls and whatnot, uh, it does appear that it's one of those games where if you if you die, you lose all of, like your mo well not all of it because I still have some money, but you lose at least some of your money, and you have to go back get it back. And if you don't, if you die on the way back, you lose it. Also, if you press down, he bends his knees ever so slightly. Now, my big problem in stuff like this is going to be not getting impatience. Oh, he didn't drop his gems again. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, a part of that is going to be not losing my patience, honestly. Oh, almost did the cheap death where he knocked me into a, a pit. Come on. Get out of here. I don't know if that skull grows back. All right. I'm gonna hate, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of those types of areas where there's like a small platform you have to like get through and I'm gonna die a lot. Okay, you can, okay, you can stop like the downward thrust because once you start, if I just, you don't have to hold down anymore and he's just constantly doing it, but if I attack in the air, he breaks it. No, there's another one, all right, I think that's all of them. Giving them a second to show themselves that they are. There we go. Another nice purple gem. Check the walls. Didn't see anything. Probably just leaves these diamonds everywhere. All they needed was a shovel. And I was the man to wield it. Alright. It's over here. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, another chest. Nice. What do we got? Nice. Money, which again I presume will be useful at some point. Now just to not die on the way over. Really, those short ledges, my best bet, because my I am my own worst enemy on those small ledges. I hit, I land on them, but my brain is still like, oh god, you're falling off, you idiots, and then I try to save myself and end up jumping to my death. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit this one for sure. I think you can replay levels to get more money, like farm for money, I think, maybe? Oh. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cru- Cerule- Cerulean? Coward? Cerulean? I don't know. What's a lo- what the hell's an aluminum falcon? Turn back, Shovel Knight! There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knights! I have no quarrel with you! I must return to the Tower of Fates! Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! <laughs> oh god. Look out, alright. All right, so he's got spikes on his helmet. I'm gonna guess that's bad. No, oh, he didn't like that. Uh-oh, I don't like him laughing. Ooh, he powered his shovel up. Can I power mine up? Oh, God damn it. Probably should've been worried less about powering my shovel up and killing him. So yeah, it's a good thing we grabbed that. Recover, 330, all right. Boom, ba ba boom. All right, good, we don't. Do the cinematic thing again. Get your money back. This is intense. Oh shit. 
I probably should be learning his patterns. Shit. All right, come on. All right, there's that. All right, okay, so I can land. I can land on him. Where's his? Oh god, his health is pretty big over there. Uh oh. Every time he does that, I keep expecting him to do something. I wonder if I can shoot that back at him. Just gotta outsmart him, which is why I'm losing. Oh, come on. Is he gonna? Ooh, damn it. My, obviously my, uh, my aim is very good. Take that, vile villain. No one can stand against the justice of the Shovel Knight. If I could have been much better. That's some horrible aiming <laughs> there. Wow. Ah, nice, very realistic campfire. Man, the graphics will never get past this point. Look at this. Look at the light! Look at the light reflecting off the trees. That's dynamic, folks. Accidents. That's not dynamic at all. Shield Knights! No! Well, she's been just falling towards the whole time. Oh. Oh, okay, I can jump. I was like, I don't know if jumping is good or bad. Mm, not nocturnal emissions again. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, I'm moving around. I can... Okay, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm jumping. Oh, I'm digging up my own campfire. Be accomplished. Only you... Okay, I won't do that. I won't do that to you. Alright. Log? Tell me what you know. Ah, okay. Oh, nice. Sweet. Alright, I'm actually going to stop it there. Like I said, short session for the first time. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, how's the audio? How's the video? All that. Big graphics are all pixelated. What did you do? Sorry, folks. It's meant to be that way. Anyway. We'll go to the village in the next video, it looks like. As he jumps up and down on the village. That's just me. Thank anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave comments, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.